27, career high 27 tonight. Um, Malone told us last game that you sat down and had a talk with him just to level. Yeah. Um, what did that mean to you? Uh, it, it meant a lot for me because I honestly was, you know, uh, not really worrying, but you know, when you you feel some type of way, like not like a, in a in a disrespectful way or anything, but just knowing that you and Coach need to talk, you know, just to get on the same page. And uh, he he texted me one night, and you know, from the recent games, he's like, "That's not the player you are. I know that's not the player you are from the numbers. You know, that's why we need to come and sit down and talk." And uh, you know, that meant a lot to me. It, it took you know some stress off my shoulders. It made me relax more, and uh, it also made me more comfortable just to know me and Coach got that connection even uh, tighter. But you know, just having that you know that 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 meeting with him meant a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What's your attitude down there? What's uh, in, in, the, in the building? Uh, you know, the bigs is, is battling with the the other bigs. You know, they they're a huge guys. So I want to come down there and uh, you know, help them out, get the scrappy rebounds, uh, go in there and get long rebounds, and even if they coming off high, I can go up there and get them too. So uh, you know, just taking some stress off stress off of Yoke, uh, Zeke, uh, Jeff, just to go down there and rebound and help out too. Yeah. Do you feel a sense that changes on the court with that bench unit that you can use since you're shot really good for the whole team? Uh, yes, I do. I feel as though that, that get, it's a boost confidence, and uh, it gives a, a confidence throughout the whole team. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just feel as though it, the, the net gets wider, the rim gets wider for my whole team. And, uh, you know, we just let it rain from anywhere. Once you really do get to your level like that, when you start getting down there, like you get the pocket numbers, you lose that gravity that you then created mm -hmm. to create something else, either for yourself or your teammates. Um, that nuance, what triggers in your head to where you know now it's time to start getting downhill as opposed to hunting for those? Uh, when they, you know, trying to run me off the line or they playing too aggressive, uh, you know, I know I can use my speed, my shiftiness to get downhill and get wherever I want and also create for my teammates. Uh, but, you know, uh, my, my shot is a deadly weapon and I just keep using it to my advantage. Well, first team against LeBron, first team against us. Uh, mm -hmm. Was there anything else that, that you thought about when you came in? Uh, you know, I, I used to watch them when I was younger, but I, I knew when I was coming in that I belong. Uh, I wanted to show the world that I belong as well. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to come out with the win, and that's what we did. How much do you feed off the crowd? A lot. Uh, um, it, it, that's what they come and, uh, come to the games for. You know, they, they want to see excitement. They want to see excitement plays. They want to see, you know, just somebody out there having fun. And I feel as though we always out there having fun. And, uh, you know, you want to give the fans what they pay for. A lot of the Clippers was obviously a really tough win. And Coach talked about how after that one, he said that he can't even sing live, so to speak. Yeah. Way different. Uh, honestly, we, you know, after that game, it, we, we, we wasn't on the same page. Uh, but we, we came back the next day, and uh, we regrouped as a group. Uh, we talked it out, and uh, it, you can see it's a drastically changed. You can see everybody's more comfortable now uh, as a team, from the head coaches to the assistant coaches, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody's, you know, all in as one. And I feel like that's what we needed to just to get tighter. Uh, yeah, you know, coming in, we we knew we was down uh, a couple guys through the personal reasons and stuff like that. But uh, you know, we we all we all knew, you know, we all we was all we got, and uh, we can go out there and beat them with what we got. So uh, you know, it was no doubt in our mind that we we wasn't gonna win the game when we went out there and stepped on that floor. We said, you know, go out there, play our hardest, and you know, and follow the game plan. Uh, it's it's getting way better. Uh, from summer league, we wasn't you know as tight or as you know bonding as uh, as much. But uh, as the season went on and on and on, you know I'm starting to see how he plays, starting to see how I play. Uh, you know, and when I got the ball in the fast break, he knows what to do now. You know, so we just talk it out, talk it out and stuff like that. And uh, that's big because you know when you're on the same page with your teammates, that can be deadly. You because you know their their uh their sweet spots and where they don't like the ball, where they love the ball. So you know, me and him definitely you know is getting a better chemistry. Hey, Bones, uh, it looked like you and Kent Basemore shook hands after the game, but before that, you were kind of battling a little bit. Um, how valuable is it as a rookie to just kind of go through the experience of getting tested by veterans like that? Uh, you know, that's what I want. That's what I uh, grew up on. You know, bigger uh, players, you know, try to play aggressive on me. 
Uh, but that's my boy though. We 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 actually are in the same agency, so I don't know what he was trying to do. He was trying to play me extra physical, but uh, you know that's the stuff that I like. I like you know when players play physical uh, against me because I use it uh, to my advantage. And uh, you know you know I got a foul on him. And, you know I got a you know a three. Hey Bones, um, Jeff has been in the league now for 15 years. Um, what are some of the biggest pieces that you're taking away from him and how are you implementing it into your game? Uh, just to see, you know, how he has so much longevity on his life, you know, with his basketball career, uh, you know, how he's still able to move how he moves, jump how he jumps. Uh, it's, it's just ridiculously insane to just watch it. Uh, how he talks on the floor, how he keeps everybody engaged. Uh, you know, Aaron Gordon missed uh, a couple shots early in the first in the first half, but uh, you know he like you know keep your head up. They're gonna fall the second half, and that's just big to hear from Jeff as a veteran because he's giving you know the guys confidence and honestly what we need because sometimes we get in our head and uh, that was big. And Ag had hit a, a corner shot. Hi, Bonds. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win and your big performance. Bonds, uh, what motivated you to be so aggressive on offense tonight, especially from the three-point line? Uh, you know, coming uh, coming into this game, I, uh, you know, I just want to keep being aggressive. You keep using my speed to my advantage. Uh, you know, look for my shot when I'm open. And, uh, you know, just, just, just play my game. Have fun out there. And uh, that's what I wanted to do, stepping out on the floor tonight. Mm-hmm. 